All right, it's day 12 of the 12 Days of Christmas. Thanks for sticking with me this far. I really uh, appreciate it and hope you've uh, enjoyed some of the lessons. And uh, we're going to wrap things up with Uncle Darren with uh, the final lesson for Crazy Train. And just a quick reminder, we do have the $1 Christmas guitar course available, as well as some amazing DVD specials. So please check those out. All right, let's, uh, let's roll the lesson. Hi everybody, this is Darren Gidman from GuitarControl.com. I'm bringing you uh, part three of uh, Crazy Train. Uh, in part one, we went over the intro. Part two, we went over the verse. And now we're going to, here in part three, we're going to go over the uh, pre-chorus and the chorus. All right, so for the pre-chorus, we start off on this uh, F sharp five. So we're on the second fret of the sixth string with our first finger and the fourth fret of the fifth string with our third finger. And then we play the sixth string open and then back to that F sharp five. So that's counted as one and two. Now that two is a, is a quarter note and it's tied to the downbeat of beat three is an eighth note. So this part, this part, the counting is kind of is kind of strange. So you've got one and two, three and four, D five. So that uh, D five is played on the and of four, and then that's tied to beat one of the next major. So you actually let it ring out for. Uh, a beat and a half. And then you follow that with a couple of natural harmonics at the seventh fret of the uh, fourth and third string. Now, on the record, he has a tremolo and does a little whammy bar dive, but as you can see, I do not have a tremolo, um, and maybe you don't either. So, um, you know, there's there's lots of other, you know, little cool things. I mean, just the harmonics sound pretty cool, but you know, you could, you know. See. Just shake your guitar or something like that, you know, to kind of give it a cool uh, sound. Uh, anyway, then you follow that with that F sharp five to the open string and back again. Then open sixth string again, then the second fret, and then you pull off to the open. Now we're going to do a D5 over A, which is simply just a D, a standard open D chord, but we're going to play the sixth string, or excuse me, the fifth string open with it. So. Okay, then we follow that with this little, um, little short uh, run. Fourth string open twice and then the fourth fret of the fifth string to the second fret. So, and that's counted as uh, eighth notes. It's actually beats three and four of that measure. So three and four and, all right. So that's the entire pre-chorus. So once again, the whole, the whole pre-chorus. All right, so then that leads us to the chorus itself. Now, the chorus is actually, like what you're doing with the chords and the rhythm and stuff is actually really easy, but it does have um, uh, some really cool licks and runs and things he does in it. Um, he does them differently. I mean, it's not the same one every time. The one, I'm just gonna show you the one lick. This is my personal favorite one out of here. Uh, it's in the first chorus. All right, so for then the chorus, we start off with this, uh, with that A5 chord that we showed you um, before. Um, so it's the open sixth or fifth string, and then you're barring across the uh, second fret of the fourth and third string, just like a, like a standard A chord, actually, open position A chord. Uh, so you hit that three times, and then follow that with the uh, fourth fret of the sixth string to the second fret, and then to an E5, which looks like an E minor. So... And then you play that E5 three more times and follow that with the fourth thread of the sixth string again. Okay, so the whole sequence is. Then it goes into this little, um, 
little run here. All right, so this little lick is based out of F sharp minor pentatonic first position. That scale pattern, hopefully you already know that, makes it a lot easier. Um, anyway, so we're gonna start off, we're on the fourth fret of the third string, and we're going to bend that up a full step. And then we're gonna follow that by barring our first finger across the second fret of the second and first string. So. And it's a lick you've probably heard a million times. Now, with your fourth finger, go to the fifth fret of the second string, and your first finger stays on the second fret. You're gonna pick that and pull it off. Then with your second finger, pick the third fret and pull off to the second. So. And then follow that with the uh, fifth fret of the third string. So the whole set, whole sequence. And then back to the second fret of the second string again. Okay, and then from there, you've got a, you move to the third string, first finger on the second fret, third finger on the fourth fret, and your uh, fourth finger on the fifth fret. And you're going to pick the fifth fret and then pull off to four and then two. And then follow that with the fourth fret of the fourth string, back to the second fret of the third string, and back to the uh, fourth fret of the fourth string again. So. So that's just the first measure of that lick. So let's play that, just that first measure again. Then from there, the second measure, we start on the second fret of the, uh, um, of the fourth string to the fourth fret of the fifth string, back to the second fret of the, uh, the fourth string again, back to the fourth fret of the fifth string again. So it's... Uh, then from there, you move your first finger to the second fret of the fifth string and your second finger to the third fret, and you're gonna pick and pull and do that three, four times in a row, and on the last one, pull it off to the open string, so. So. Okay, so that is that entire lick. So both measures played together. Then you go to A5, so it's just like the part you did before. All right, so for the final part of the chorus, we start off with the, uh, the A5, and then we do that thing where we walk down the, uh, from the fourth to the second fret on the sixth string to the E5, so. Then back to the fourth fret, twice to the open string. Then it's back to the same riff we were doing before, where you start on the, uh, uh, the F sharp, F sharp five, so you're on the second fret of the sixth string with your first finger and the fourth fret of the fifth string with your uh, uh, third finger. To the open string and back. Two, four, A five. Four, two, E five. Two, four. Okay, and then now here is the little uh, sequence that like brings you back into the verse again. So we go to the D5 and we hit that twice. And then we hit just the fourth and fifth strings open. So to the D5, or excuse me, the E5 twice. So then open sixth string to the second fret to the fourth fret, and then it goes right back into the verse. So that whole part would sound, that whole ending part sounds like this. And then it'd go right back into the verse like that. Uh, so anyhow, the, 
those are the parts of the song. Uh, it has a little, like before the guitar solo, it kind of just does like what it does on the very first part of the intro. And at the end of the song, it kind of ends with what's, you know, what's being played on the intro. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, be sure if you haven't seen part one and two, be sure to check them out so you can get the complete song and, uh, you know, look at the tabs, make your life a little bit easier. And anyway, until next time. <laughs> Thanks so much again for watching. Really appreciate you uh, being here and tuning in. And once again, we've got the $1 Christmas guitar course with all new songs. It's an amazing collection of Christmas tunes. It's only $1. You'll also get the Ultimate Guitar Secrets Collection and access to the Guitar Guy Club so you can get live interactive webinars, some great teachers, jam tracks, a whole bunch of great stuff. No reason not to order. And it really helps out um, the kids at Blue Star Music Camp and so it's a win-win situation here. You're going to help out, uh, help out the kids, give them a great musical experience, and hook yourself up with some amazing stuff. All right, and we also have our DVD specials, so you can check all of that out. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next year. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and God bless.